ikiwa mshahara wako ni 50000 salary ukatoa tight hapa ni 5000 si ndio 5000 ukitoa 5000 tick ukitoa 4800 hii nitawasomea nita biblia kesho kwa ajili ya time 4800 nothing it gives you nothing na unadaiwa deni na Mungu tena unadaiwa 5% plus 10% ambao umeiba na hii uliotoa pia haisabii so utakapopata mshahara mwezi ujao unadaiwa 15% previous salary sababu hii huwa ni ya Mungu hii si yako kwa hiyo pesa yako hii kwa walimwengu wanajua mahali pa kupeleka si wako na waganga wao na mahospitali yao mahali wakipata pesa wanaenda wananunua hii dawa wananunua hii dawa wananunua hii dawa si huko ndio wanazipeleka lakini wewe ulie wa Mungu 10% kwa pesa zako zote 100% a ila ambao ni yako ni 90 10 si yako na ikiwa unaona Mungu amechukua nyingi sana basi mpe Mungu 90 ubaki na 10 si unaona hiyo 10 ndio nyingi ndio maana watu hawatoi hiyo 10 si ndivyo si wanaona ni pesa nyingi sana natoa basi mpe Mungu hiyo 90 ubaki na ngapi ambao unajua utaweza Now sasa wewe utadaiwa 15 alafu this time unadaiwa 10 10 plus 15 inakuwa ni 20 ngapi 25 Kitambo mwezi huu pia watoto wanaenda shule pia haukutoa Unadaiwa 5% ya mwezi huu plus 10% ambao ni 15 plus ile 15 ambayo inakuwa sanitati percent unajua sasa 30 percent ya mshako sasa unaanza kudaiwa kwa elufu elufu mia moja uliopata elufu kumi ilikuwa ya mungu lakini sasa percent ya hii elufu mia moja sasa ni ngapi 30,000 kwa hivyo ile pesa ambayo unabaki nayo inakuwa ni ngapi 70 uko less ngapi 20000 bwana yesu asifiwe pastor nini itafanyika mwezi huo wa tatu hii itaanza kuingia kwa madawa medicine watoka medicine jambo lingine fridge imeungua nunua imeungua number 3 ambao ulitumana kuturuwe mpesa mwalimu anasema hawajaiona na wanakukazia utalipa tena na mwenye nyumba amepandisha nini rent rent increase sasa unasema jameni shida zimenikumba pasta hata hiyo pesa nikiipata na unajua saa mwezi wa ine pia hautatoa tight si shida zimeongezeka sasa utakuwa unadaiwa 40% minus this pesa zako zinapungua mpaka 60000 ndio uko nayo kitambo umalize mwaka unadaiwa minus 20000 sababu mwaka iko na miezi kumi na ngapi mbili sasa ukipata mshahara madeni ni mengi unalipa unalipa alafu unaenda kukopa sasa si nimemaliza kesi yako si kila mmoja amejua ugonjwa wake god bless you so much hiyo hiyo ndio maana wa kristo wanafikianga hapo sababu usipo tight anasema mimi mungu nimekulaana sasa unakuta ulianza na kidogo 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 
Sasa imefikia mahali mshahara wako ni kubwa, madeni yako ni mengi, ni kama wewe milango ya shida imefunguka kwa ajili yako. Watu wakifutwa kazi wewe ni namba moja Watu wakipunguzwa mshahara wewe ni namba moja Watu wakipunguzwa kazini wewe ni namba moja Wale ambao wako na deni ya chama wewe ni namba moja Wale ambao wako CRB wewe ni namba moja Wale ambao wako tolewa kwa chama wewe ni namba moja Wale ambao wanapandishiwa rent wewe ni namba moja Wale wakuchukiwa wewe ni namba moja wale ambao wanashinda hospitalini kila mwisho wa mwezi wewe ni namba moja wale ambao mke wake wameenda wewe ni namba moja wale ambao watoto wao wanafukuzwa kabla watoto wengine mwanangu ulikuwa unajua hiyo hapana tukujua lakini asante kwa kutufunza so You can give, give her a microphone. We are learning something very important. Mwanangu, si ni kweli tunajifunza kitu kizuri. I live in the US. Yes. And I've been there since 96 November. I know you people you have a case with me, but you can continue. Yes. Now, what you have brought up and I'm ashamed because I come from a Christian family, but I thought I knew. I went to school. It's okay. I went to school, I'm a network engineer. But before that, I was just struggling with other things when I was school. The way I've been paying my time, and I think that's why I'm at zero. I saw you, your channel, about three weeks ago or something. You used the mic, please. That's and once I saw, it came up when you were talking about Muchawi. I usually watch like TB Joshua oh wale wacha niongee swahili Nilikuwa natanzama TB Joshua and all of a sudden you came up Nilikuwa nataka ku switch but what you are talking attracted me and from that time I got hooked up What you are telling mama of course we get money people who are outside lakini like myself nilikuwa natuma just a figure nachukua na lipa from january to december na sikuwa na lipa us kwa kanisa yangu na lipa and then i send i'm from masaku natuma kwa my local church but just a number not even what i was getting and what you are telling mama i am zero box getting a lot of money but every month something happens either my car breaks or something the house or i get a lot of people with issues na peana pesa naachwa bure but what you are saying i think is tunaibia mungu na hiyo pesa tunapata we cannot enjoy it Uh, not only yourself but many people I tell you that many people living abroad are suffering they are mm -hmm. really suffering yeah they get what we call paper money yes but they don't have what you call material wealth to enjoy that is even true. when they invest back at home a lot of their investment disappear in the hands of fake people and even brothers members of the family so you invest a lot of money you have nothing to show you get a lot of money you have several mouths to feed Correct. and remember it is the devil who has opened these mouths someone is sick at home they don't see anybody else it is only you yes someone has issues school fees with his or her child yes. only you someone has marriage problems only you are everything ile moyo alikuwa anasema hata kuku akiibiwa ni moyo yes kwa sababu gani wakati tumeenda kule i know about something in europe i've never been there but kiwango cha Mungu huko ni tofauti na hapa We have 
several churches who are which are dying in Europe. Buildings in Guinea zimekuwa go downs. Watu wanaenda kanisani kamadini. Kanisa ambayo inafufua mtu kiroho ziko mbali, ziko lakini ziko moja moja mbali. Another thing natamani mjue wanangu mlio kwa mataifa ya nje. Hii pia nitafundisha. You are from Masaku, I'm from Chonyi. This is America. This is Asia. This is where is Europe? This is Africa. Australia. Australia, something. Now, ikiwa mami uko hapa, unaishi hapa. In Africa, something like this. Kaka kama kicho cha mtu. Na unatoka hapa Kenya. Ama unatoka Uganda hapa. Ama unatoka Tanzania. Ama unatoka Rwanda, Burundi. Ama unatoka Nigeria, you come from Nigeria. Na unaishi Dubai. Ama India. Siku danganyi. Muchawi ambaye ako hapa masaku. Kurusha mishale hivi tu ikugonge. Inachukua microseconds kwa hivyo mtu asikudanganye kwamba huyu anaishi Amerika mchai wa masako hawezi kumshika unashikwa na wazimu hapa na usiku huo huo moja ukiroko because in the spiritual world there is no Africa there is no Asia this thing is open there is no boundaries easy boundaries they call them international and political boundaries they are physical. He about Nanganya and Somalia. Wana Jua Maliko, Lakini Akiro. So, Ili Wako Felicity, Apa Masaku. Wakisha Kugonga in Aziaba, Toto and Anza and Drugs. Alafu and Ataka could change sex. Anataka kuwa msichana na ni mvulana. Alafu akitoka mahali hapa anaingia kwa mambo ya anaitwaje uh, hizi vikundi vya walifu. Na ni mtoto wako umemlea vizuri sana. He drops out of school. Wewe unafikiria there is something with something wrong with the systems in America? Something has been cooked here at Masaku to be finished. You are being finished. Well, Basa Ezekiel Akomo Basa and I. Una mama hapa natoka Tanzania. Ali kuanga muganga. Ako apa ama. Nisai ni mshirika. Ako kule anadil na usafi wa kule zile washrooms. Ali niambia siku ile niliweka TV station yangu waliona Tanzania waganga na wachai wakaweka kikao nikawa a marked man wakaambiwa maliza nini na pastor Ezekiel Araka sababu hata 